Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error, there might be a problem with the driver for the Ethernet Wi Fi adapter, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. I'll guide you through the procedures. This is what the error would look like. The first solution would be to update Windows. Right click on the Start button and select Settings. In the Settings window, go to the Windows Update tab on the list on the left hand side. And in the right pane, click on check for updates to update windows. The next solution would be to update all the drivers at once. Go to intel.com and in the intel search bar at the top right corner, search for intel driver and support assistant. Download the latest software. The next solution would be to reset all the network adapter settings. For this, right click on the start button and select settings. In the settings window, go to the network and internet tab on the list on the left hand side. Scroll down to advanced network settings in the right pane. Scroll down to this option which says network reset and then you'll get the option to reset the network now. The next solution would be to change a few adapter settings. Press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command ncpa.cpl and hit enter. This will open the network connections window. Right click on the active network connection and select properties. In the properties window, you would notice a few connections here. Except for the ones mentioned here, for example, client for Microsoft network, IPv6, IPv4. Make sure that all the other options are unchecked. You can also uncheck any of these options like IPv6, but others should definitely be unchecked. After this, you can consider disabling the IP helper service. Press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. In the run window, type the command services.msc and hit enter. This will open the service manager window. Scroll down to the IP helper service which should be easy to find because the list is in alphabetical order. Double click on it to open the options. Change the startup type to disabled and click on apply and then on ok isn't this easy and interesting if you have any doubts please go to the original article on the windows club scroll down to the comment section and write your query we will surely answer to it do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this video and have a nice day